33-year-old Lee Swerdland in the blue there is a sports scuba diver. He likes to get down for the fun of it, and every chance he gets, he drops in on a bubbling tin can, a 22-ton bubbling tin can. It was uh, quite an adventure for me, and uh, I've always wanted to do something like this, and it gave me an opportunity to get some hands-on experience, which is exactly what it would provide for anybody else. The tin can is a 16 by 8 foot steel cylinder and underwater habitat. Scientists usually study sea life with them, but anybody can drop into this murky Key Largo lagoon to give a go at living in this one. Jan Colbrick, an ocean pioneer, the Jacques Cousteau of America, runs it for a nonprofit marine foundation. But even he says it will be a while before man lives under the sea. Uh, for aquaculture and colonizing the sea, I think that that is a long ways away and that our next step if we run out of room would be in floating cities. Living in the habitat for 24 hours qualifies you as an aquanaut. It has all the comforts of home. Just 20 feet below the surface, it's still a deep experience. I had a couple of moments there where I started to get a little bit warm and that closed in feeling. So what we did was just go out for a little dive excursion for about an hour. I spent about two hours down there researching and doing this story, and I would like to stay for 24 hours some other time, but... One thing for sure, after a few hours down there, you really begin to appreciate the sunlight. In Key Largo, Ed O'Dell, News 4.